dear students our next topic is the career amplifier first of all we have note down the important parts in a career amplifier in this figure we have to just starting from the career oscillator this carrier oscillator is used to energize the transducer that is it just give the energy to the transducer that is the strain gauge transducer with an alternating carrier voltage that is with an with the help of an external, external alternate carrier voltage we have to just energize the transducer then the working of the strain gauge transducer the information signal from the body electrodes that is the needle electrode surface electrode some type of electrode reaches the transducer that is signal from the transducer signal from the electrode reaches the transducer and where it is amplitude modulated in this strain gauge transducer it is amplitude modulation takes place using the carrier signal from the carrier oscillator that is it is amplitude modulated by the help of the carrier signal from the carrier oscillator then this transducer changes the amplitude of the carrier signal with respect to the physiological variable being measured and next next step is to this carrier oscillator is to changes the amplitude of the carrier signal the output of the signal is amplitude modulated signal and this amplitude modulated signal is then given to the amplifier the amplifier used is a multi stage capacitance coupled amplifier that is the modulated signal from the transducer is given to this amplifier and the first stage produces amplification of amplitude modulated signal second stage responds to signal frequency components of carrier signal only then the further amplified in the third stage next case next is the rectifier we already know that the rectifier the function of the rectifier in this case the output from the rectifier is converted into unidirectional signal using a rectifier that is the function of this rectifier then the phase sensitive detector the the signal is demodulated and extracts the amplified information signal that is the phase sensitive detector that is it detects or demodulated and extracts the amplified information signal then is the direct writing recorder this direct writing recorder means the voltage produced by the detector stage is then fed into the driver stage of the recording system and the feature of the carrier amplifiers are it is used to obtain zero frequency response the amplifier and inherent stability of capacitance coupled amplifier that is these are the two important features of the carrier amplifier so in this figure you have known that you just starting from the carrier oscillator the carrier oscillator is just used to energize the transducer the strain gauge transducer it amplitude the modulated signal using the carrier signal from the carrier oscillator the amplifier here the amplifier used is a multi stage capacitance coupled amplifier that is the modulated signal from the transducer is given to this amplifier the rectifier is used to convert into unidirectional signal using a rectifier and the phase sensitive detector this signal just used to demodulate and extracts the original signal the direct writing recorder means the voltage produced by the detector stage is then fed into the driver stage of the recording system that is we have to record this system by using a direct writing recorder the features of this carrier amplifier are it is used to obtain zero frequency response of a dc amplifier also the inherent stability of capacitance coupled amplifier that is all about the working of a carrier amplifier